A new beginning for Columbia Hickman basketball. The Cupies christened their new home court tonight appropriately against Crosstown rival Rockbridge. Here it is, the new Hickman gym, replacing the old one that the Cupes used for the last 54 years. The new home is bigger, holding 1,300 fans, about 100 more than the old place, and they packed them in tonight. Full college-length gym court, about 10 feet longer. As for the game, Hickman. Off to a great start at 6-1, trying to end a 21-game losing streak against Rockbridge. That's right, 21 straight Bruin victories. Hickman's Cecil Williams with the basket, plus one early. Williams with 14 on the night. Look at the, how the Cupies finished the first quarter. Douglas Johnson, that's the coach's son, David Johnson's son. The three is good. Rockbridge guard Nick Norton rings up the three for the Bruins. Later on, Ryan Kreklow comes up with a steal for the bridge. He will go coast to coast. Kreklow had 18 to lead all scores. Hickman led by three, though, at the half, 26-23. Jimmy Witt had 15. The Cupies go on to win it and celebrate 55-48. What a victory on the new home court. That long losing streak against Rockbridge is over. Our, our boys played. 32 minutes and uh, that's what we told it was going to take and they really stuck to the plan as far as what we had to do defensively wasn't probably the most beautiful offensive game but they made plays when they had to and uh, the psychological monkeys off the bat. Congratulations to the QPs. More first round play at the 52nd annual Lynn Basketball Tournament. Top seed Fatima had no trouble with New Bloomfield. Chad Stegman the 6'7 senior inside for two. Cameron Cockrum getting all the video of this game tonight, including the three from Fatima's Patrick Schneiders. He led the way with 22. Referee of the night, Chris Brizendine making the calls. How about John Fisk? Uh, John Fick, I should say, drives in for the three-point play. Fatima rolls on to a perfect 5-0 record with a big 87-36 win. Boonville and Dixon battling in the other semifinal. Scott Floyd's Pirates from Boonville on the offensive rebound. Nice feed to Mario Walker to Gus Kemp. Coach Floyd and look at his scorekeeper here enjoying a little popcorn on the bench. Boonville would enjoy this one. Tyler Peterson steals basket plus one. But Dixon, they hit nine three-pointers on the night. The Bulldogs beat Boonville 65-52, to advancing to the semis on Friday. The Fulton Hornets hosting the Eldon Mustangs tonight. Eldon in the road maroon. Give it to Sammy Lincoln from the far side. Hits the three. No doubt his mom, Jarrah Lincoln, taught him how to shoot. Eldon shooting well tonight. Chris Hulsey connects for three more. The Mustangs improved to three and two with a big 23 point win over Fulton, the final 60 to 37. Eugene over Hallsville to go six and one. California beats Osage Dillon Albertson with 22. Sturgeon is four and two, a big win. Sullivan edges past Herman. Russellville is four and three, beating St. E. Clapton over North Callaway. MSD wins tonight. It was Iberia moving to 7-0 with a win over Bell. Vienna over Tuscumbia. St. Clair defeats Owensville. Southern Boone gets 30 from Nick Carlos to beat Harrisburg. St. James is a perfect 8-0 on the year after beating New Haven. Girls basketball at J.C. High. Shane Myers, Jeff City, Lady Jays hosting Springfield Glendale. Kaylee Ruff drives into the paint. Nice move for two. Jeff City with a great effort tonight. In the lead early, Ruff finds Kezia Martin here. The junior forward poured in 15. Lady Jays win their second of the season. A convincing 76-46 win over Glendale. Fatima beats California at the Versailles Tournament. Camdenton over the host team Versailles. South Callaway over Jamestown. And Owensville defeats Cuba. And Eldon gets 30 from Sarah Ryan defeating Fulton. Congratulations to the California Pinto football team, our KRCG Jefferson City High V High School team of the season. Head coach Marty Albertson and a few of his football Pintos were presented with a $500 check for the team's booster club. Thanks to Rod Dolph and the Jefferson City High V. These kids have played well all year long and uh, it was enjoyable because uh, went through the conference undefeated, of course, and, and district championship and then got a good run going on and, and they end up 13 and one. And that's probably the top three best ever records at California. And